Back in early 2015, I fell in love with the chateau I found online. I then had to convince my other half to give up our London life and move to rural France. To my surprise, she said yes, and a year later said yes again at our wedding at the chateau we now called our home. It's just us two and our husky lightning. And now, of course, a few animals who seem to have joined us along the way. It's such a beautiful place to live, so we decided to share it with everyone. It's obviously a lot of hard work for just us two. It's not always a fairy tale, and we don't always get it right. But it's all fantastic fun along the way, so we bring this chateau back to life for others to enjoy as much as we do. Follow us, Angelina and Phil, along with the highs and lows of our Chateau life. Hi, Hi guys. guys! Sorry that we couldn't get our video out to you guys last week. Uh, it's because we were doing a super secret, exciting new project, which we cannot reveal to you as yet, but we promise we will do as soon as we have the green light go ahead in the future. Yeah, exciting times, uh, we're, we're, we're gagging to tell you, but uh, we can't yet. So if you're new to our channel or have not yet subscribed, please do at some point through the video, considering pressing a like, subscribing, and of course, hitting the bell button so you get future notifications. We'd hate for you to forget. Uh, so for this week, as we haven't had huge amounts of time, I decided to play with a new toy of mine, which is for our events. Really excited about it, and it's quite a lot of fun. So uh, stay tuned. Yeah, enjoy. It's my new, very old, very rough golf buggy, which I've got because our events are pedestrian access only for safety. The mayor makes sure that we have to close the driveway uh, for just pedestrians. And it's quite long and we have a reasonable amount of elderly people around or hard of walking, etc. So I um, thought I'd get something to do a run them up and down the driveway. Uh, however, as most things here, we uh, don't have huge amounts of money, so we do it all on a budget. And being reasonably handy, I'm going to do this. So, we've obviously odd wheel. We have a puncture. Oh, a few broken bits. Uh, oh, same on the other side. And uh, just a few bits in general. So, let's get cracking on this for a minute, I think. So I think the first job of the day is to deal with the flat tires, at least then it's rollable. So let's start with that, shall we? to the other side. So new rims all round. For safety reasons, I mean they're okay in the middle, but you see these outer edges are warm where it's been driven flat. I don't think these are really up to the, the weight of uh, a six seater because they're actually, they're all the same. This one didn't hold air either and all the outer edges are gone. So I wouldn't have felt safe putting passengers on that. Worth the money for the wheels and tires. 
So now we've got the rolling and inflatable part of it all sorted. Shall we see if it will actually run? You know, the really important bit. All right, to an engine bay. single cylinder Kawasaki, I think. What do we think? Should we put a battery in it? Do we think it'll run? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Lovely little fit, right. under its own steam as well. Let's clean it up. Thanks to a bit of equipment failure, I have no time lapse, although I did start filming it, of me cleaning up the golf buggy. Any chance you can guys can do me a favour, can you just imagine some really cool music and me going really fast around the golf buggy like that? Awesome. Thank you. So let's just see. Check that out. This is all coming up clean. Dirty seat. Clean seat. And that would be the case everywhere. Look at the difference. Well, this seems very much worth it. Time to get on. Well, I'm going to go with 100% better, even if I do say so myself, than it was when I started this. It's not green anymore, which is always a good start. So, I really want to go and play with it in the garden, but it's wet. I'm gonna get a wet bum. So I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to have a little play and then see what actually needs fixing now. Okay. We all dried off. Well, apart from that, I've got to go and have a play. 
Doo, doo, doo. Okie dokie. So it's a bit tidier. Uh, it's got a little misfire, so it does need plugs cleaning, that sort of thing. So I'll do a little mechanical service on it tomorrow. We are as far as I can get today, I think. But now we can look a bit more easily about some of the things that do have to be repaired. We obviously have this bracket here, which is helping with that sort of movement. That snapped. And then we've got that bracket up there for the roof isn't good. That one's actually snapped. We've got some bolts missing. It's all to do with the roof. That's not actually bolted in properly. And again with the seat on this side. So, so let's see how we manage tomorrow. So previously we've sorted out all the weeds on the terrace and got that a bit tidied up and, and sorted out. We obviously now need to deal with all the furniture because it needs work. So we've got to repaint some of the furniture over here to protect it from the elements. We've got some repairs on these tables and the chairs. And of course, we've got to deal with all the umbrellas and, and cleaning those and all the parasols and stuff. But I'm gonna start with re-gluing these chairs because they're the most important and no one needs to sit down on something and fall off. So, so what we've got to do, as you can see, we just simply need to glue these stabilizing bars back into place uh, and then once they're done then and, and all glued up we can uh, repaint them and make them all pretty but uh, let's make sure they're safe to sit on first so it's time to glue them i like simple repair jobs just putting some wood glue on these Right. Might use a slight bit more force. Got it. We'll need a bigger clamp. Not long enough. I have the clamp I require. So obviously you've seen that's really easy. And I've had to use a sash clamp. So there we go. Just want to clamp it properly so the glue can set. There we go. That's nice and easy. Now, to repeat. 
That'll stop it from moving about. Yeah, it will. That'll stop it from moving about. And I think the smaller clamps will fit here. So as you can see, this is nice and simple. These just go into little holes in there. And they they might be glued from the factory. These are only cheap. They're not uh, anything special. So just going to re-glue them nice and solid then. Just If you're going to do this, make sure it's proper external wood glue. I've used all sorts of different wood glues over the years and I can highly recommend this Gorilla Glue that I'm using, if I'm honest, because it goes on quite easily and it glues well. So, not being shy with the glue. Perfect. So, and the last clamp, but this has got this is a bit thinner, so I think this, yeah, there we go. This clamp will do it perfectly. So now I'm gonna just leave this for 24 hours clamped up, put it to one side, and I'm gonna uh, carry on with the rest of the bits that are all coming apart. So here I am in my workshop ready to do the next project which is tying in with the sun terrace area which we de-weeded, tidied up and obviously there's a bunch of furniture there that needs repainting and we got this set uh, a while ago and you are in my workshop which is full of projects and this is just the next one that's been waiting for a very long time to be out of here done and done uh, and gone. Um, so with these I plan to uh, literally um, repaint them because they the paint is not fresh it's all tatty and uh, chipped so that will be number one but it will be a standard two-tone color which matches the outdoor sun terrace furniture so it's gonna look lovely so let's get on with that now these chairs have all been cleaned and they're ready to be painted but one of the chair had damage where this plank of wood at the back just cracked and obviously was loose. So Phil glued it using wood glue and he put a nail through um, the wood so that um, it's held together stronger. And now I'll have to fill it with some wood filler. So that's the first thing. If I do that, then I can start painting the rest of the chairs and by the time I reach to this one, it should be set. Um, I don't think the wood filler is gonna add any strength, to be honest. The other things like the wood and the metal um, Nell has, but it's about sort of um, making it neat and so that people don't rip the clothes or hurt themselves by perhaps cutting themselves. So no sharp edges and nice and neat and tidy is a first step. And this can be done to anything from doors to tongue and groove, uh, maybe floors or something like that. It's a great thing to have in the house to repair or just make things uh, look smoother and less um, uh, old fashioned and worn. <laughs> There is many different colors wood filler is available in. I'm gonna be using a white one because that's the paint color that I'm gonna be using it to paint over. Um, there is natural wood available. I'm sure there's dark wood, etc. So you only need a little bit and then I'm gonna try and squeeze in inside the gap and then perfect it. That seems lovely already. Perfect. So that's filled now. I'm gonna set it aside and start painting. I'm back and these chairs have had time to dry overnight and now I'm gonna get on with painting the rest of it, which is the top, back, and the seat itself in a contrasting color, which is uh, similar to the same color scheme as uh, we have on the Sun Terrace, so they all match together. So let's get on with that now. And here is the finished result of this pastel dark egg slash blue color. 
they're looking great just got to wait for them to dry and look this is the one that we filled up with wood filler and it looks great you can't tell there was anything there great repair okay all done and painted all of these are now done finished with and waiting to dry so i'll come back tomorrow once they dry to continue but meanwhile let's go and wash some paint brushes i'm going to show you the awesome tools that i use that have uh, just make life easier so so much easier and quicker and saves on a lot of wastage of um white spirit or chucking away brushes all right so come with me first of all remove any excess paint on an old rag it's really helpful and speeds up the cleaning process and avoids any issues so that's what i'll do first and what i use is this magical tool it's total game changer it makes the whole cleanup in five minutes flat and um, you don't waste a lot of white spirit and don't there's no need to chuck away any paint brushes which is a win-win so let's start with filling a little bit of white spirit into this bucket so this is how much i've added literally a little bit and you just go back and forth back and forth having squeezed out any excess paint off the brush beforehand that way you just literally cleaning any any more paint or dissolving any more paint shall i say all right so that's done so this is the tool and it spins and as i pull this out and extend it's, it's a bit like an old-fashioned um, uh, bike uh, wheel pump so the concept is you stick the brush in here all the way so these open up as you're pushing it through so let's do that cool. right so that's ready I'll just dip it again in there one more time then you are literally going to be spinning it inside a big bucket to catch all the white spirit in okay so i'll begin once we've done that we're going to empty this dirty particled paint water into the same bucket and we're going to fill it up with exactly same little amount of white spirit it's not much at all you'll do the same thing of squashing it um, back and forth back and forth and the water as you can see it becomes less cloudier you see it's almost it's opaque it's almost clear and this is only rinse too and now one last rinse of nice clean white spirit and this time the white spirit is very clean and clear You see and last spin perfect now everything is clean and dry because all the moisture just goes out and spins out it's great for emulsion paint but it's even better for any oil based paint as well now let's do that from the start I've taken another brush a much bigger one same thing not much white spirit and that's pretty white and cloudy very white great stuff round two now the white spirit is becoming a bit more opaque and that's just round two of cleaning third go let's see how that turns out it's almost clear 
remember this is a bigger brush so it might need a, but one more wash after this but we're pretty much there now And now for the final fourth rinse. I'm pretty sure this will be the final because white spirit is becoming very clear. There's, hard, there's hardly any paint coming off the brush. All right, final rinse, definitely. That's it, all finished. It's lovely, clean, very flexible. There's definitely nothing coming off it, so I'm really pleased. So this tool is definitely a life changer because it saves so much time. It makes the whole clear up process really quick and actually um, uh, fun. You know, it's not a tedious task, but most of all, these things are not expensive. So I'll put the uh, information on this one. If you guys want it, it's definitely gonna be well worth it. If you do a lot of painting of furniture, projects, house, whatever it is, it's really an excellent tool to have. What I tend to do, the reason I have this bucket is I tend to leave it about overnight or maybe two nights and then uh, all the sediment of the um, pigment of the paint tends to settle down and stick to the bottom of any bucket. And then I just empty out nice clear uh, white spirit back into white spirit bottle and reuse it. So this is how you efficiently do not waste a lot of white spirit to keep using and using and using and your loss will be minimal and your clear up time will be super quick these look beautiful in place now that was easy now i've got to do all those three these have seen better days i'm gonna do them next Right, clamps are off, glue has dried. And I think I have two sturdy chairs. So, all the glue has dried back up there. Got a little bit I need to scrape off. Same with here. But we have two sturdy chairs. Obviously, now they're gonna need painting but it's always better to, uh, to fix rather than to replace. And these will last another bit of time where ordinarily people would have chucked them away. So I'm pretty happy with that. What do we think? Yeah, solid. Good. Two more chairs repaired. Now time for a bit of paint. Probably not today though. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. It was an awesome episode with really nice tools and nice new golf buggy for our events, which is gonna help out everybody a lot. If you do like my brush cleaning tool, uh, check out the video description uh, to go and get it. Like I say, it's really, really affordable and you can even use it on the paint rollers as well. You stick them over as well as brushes and they really clean it really quick. So check that out. Yeah, so uh, yeah, just check it out if any of the tools, just as any other tools you find in any of our videos, always in that Amazon shop. So take a little look. Guys, we have been overwhelmed with the people that have bought us a coffee. Thank you so much. Your support means a lot and really helps keep the channel going. Um, I just wanted to say a really big thank you. And of course, if you want to support the channel in a little way, check out the link below to buy me a coffee in the description. And our uh, special thanks to our patrons who have helped us to contribute to uh, make the channel even better through the equipment. I'm just going to show you quickly the equipment, uh, the equipment that they got us. 
which is a set of mics these are mine for now because well they're not the cheapest of uh, uh, equipment but they are amazing and these are set for me Phil will get some soon hopefully you would have noticed in uh, the last video and this video that uh, some of the uh, volume um, uh, sounds have improved and stabilized and make it a bit more clearer as well and easier to work with for all of us so thank you so much because they do make the difference so We'll get that for Phil next. <laughs> yeah, guys, patrons, thank you so much. We get exclusive content out to you when we can. And you know what? We really appreciate your patience and mostly your support. Without the support from all of you guys watching, watching the ads, buy me a coffee and patron, um, we'd still be at a very low level, both with equipment and quality. So you're all helping to make this as good as possible for you guys. And we hope you continue to enjoy it. If you want to be a patron or just want to check out and see what we have to offer and the behind the scenes stuff and the exclusive bits and pieces, then take a look at our patron page. That link is also in the description. We have one last very exciting thing to explain about, however. We've been talking about it for a little while and we've been back and forth trying to get it done. Merchandise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we've been back and forth with our local printer, helping design stuff and Testing it. Testing it. Wearing it. Testing it. <laughs> wearing it. Um, at the moment, he is just not able to keep up with the sort of demand that we, we need. Um, he's more a sort of bespoke one or two items at a time thing. So he's working on getting set up ready for the wider audience and making us some stuff that we're going to sell directly from the Chateau at our events. In the meantime, we've, uh, we, we've buddied up with a company called Teespring to offer some stuff mainly for the states but of course in europe as well for some uh, some t-shirts some odds and ends uh, souvenirs. Some ga souvenirs garments and with a little luck it's going to be available directly underneath our video um when this goes out if not maybe a day or two later it takes a little while to come up so um to be honest unless you're watching this video right now if you're watching a couple of days it's gonna be there so you're gonna be wondering what i was talking about <laughs> take a look uh see what we've got and um, give us some feedback. Tell us what else you'd like to see. We'd love to make some stuff that, uh, that you guys really, really want. So um, yeah, yeah, check it out. And if you enjoyed this video and enjoy our channel, everything that we do, please consider subscribing and then hitting that bell button so you receive all the latest notifications. Yes, that's right. We started off with saying that we were gonna do a thousand subscribers and the rele relevant watch minutes to be monetized in 12 months. We are a lot less than that and we've just gone past 14,000 subscribers and hopefully with this video or the next one we'll hit that 15,000 so <laughs> thank you so much guys keep on subscribing we'll see you next time bye